Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the IKEA Tetra lamp that I bought recently. This is to become an articulated arm for holding up my microphone, my desk microphone, as well as to hold up my cell phone when I'm recording overhead perspective videos. So this is just a quick unboxing. First, I would like to show you how much this lamp weighs. I'm going to try in this video to show you all of the information that I personally searched for online before I bought this lamp and that I wish I knew stuff about the weight and size, length, as well as the articulations of the arm. So now I'm going to try to balance this and get you an accurate weight reading. So as you can see, it's 961 grams, just around two pounds. So I'm not going to be using the lamp itself as, as a lamp, like I said before. So the bowl itself is going to be stored for a future project. But while we are here, I, might, I may just as well show you the measurements, physical measurements of this bowl. It's just about seven inches, about 17 centimeters wide, and it stands tall at about 11 centimeters, just over four inches. So now onto the lamp, I'm going to show you what it contains inside. We have a small package that contains two springs and the table mount. They're pretty tight springs and very, very strong and well-made. It's just about maybe eight centimeters. So as you can see on the mount, there are holes from the top as well as the sides, so three holes in total, and this enables you to mount it both to a wall or to a table. So now I'm going to try to show you the maximum allowance for the, the system that retains the mount to the table, just a little bit over two inches, five, five and a half centimeters. It comes with just a piece of cardboard to protect the side of the lamp. There is a manual on how to make the installation as well as to mount the lamp itself. The usual IKEA directions. So let me get the measurement of the cord for you. In this modern versions of the Tetrion lamp, the switch is now on the cord itself and no longer on the back of the of the bowl. The switch is at around the 26 centimeter 10 inches point from the base of the lamp. And now to measure the full length of the cord. And it's just about 156 centimeters or so around 61 inches. It's a very long and generous code. The lamp itself is well made with solid materials and has some thumb screws that you can use to tighten up the arm articulation. The, the springs go on there on both sides and they make the movement of the lamp very, very solid and rigid. So the arm measurements are around 40 centimeters. I think they are both equal sides, just around 40 centimeters. There is around three centimeters of, uh, of a piece of metal that holds the lamp head. And those are the measurements for the lamp head itself, where the bulb goes into. It's a big screw, screw in bulb socket. So that is the thumb ton screw that is going to hold the lamp head in a more rigid turning. I find that even when very much tightened, the lamp head still moves just a bit. So that's how it is. So for me, it was important to see if the arms can both close and they do as long as the 
there is no spring on the second arm, then the lamp can close fine and remain in a closed position. This is for better storage if you have a small space on your desk. So now I'm going to try to extend the arms in the full open position and give you a measurement on how long, how long of an arm you get once fully extended. This is an information I wanted to know since I was going to plan exactly where on my desk I, I'm going to put this lamp to be able to reach my face location with the microphone. So it's just around 28, 29 inches, around 75, 80 centimeters. So this is how you place the second set of springs. And it makes for an overall tight system where it becomes much more harder to move the lamp around and more actually more difficult to keep the lamp in place when fully folded closed because that arm just wants to spring out as you can see so if you plan to keep the arm fully closed then you have to give some some give to the spring maybe put a paper clip on the end to give about one or two inches or like six centimeters more of space because these are very strong springs you could also remove it and get good still a good movement on the arm without the top springs even the bottom springs too i tested this and i found out that you, you can have a good lamp uh, arm movement without the springs as long as the screws on the joints are well tightened so this was a video on an unboxing and the technical details of this dirtier lamp maybe i may show in the future video some pictures of what it's became in my project thanks for watching i'll speak to you soon